started with my sixth grader. We are reading Garbage Choice for April 2018 by Nikki Grimes. I chose this book because it's written in a lyrical form instead of prose. I figured it would be a good break for him towards the end of the school year to not read something so heavy, even though he does have another novel left. So underneath the book, you see his African-American literature journal. I kind of compiled these over the summer before the school year that we're getting ready to go into. And it has all of the resources and the unit guides and whatever else that we may be using for a particular book or a particular um, literary skill all in one. And I just go get it bound at the local print shop and then I, you see the tabs here there's an individual tab per book and then a binder pocket here in the back where he stores um, some loose sheets that we may need to keep up with throughout the school year that I didn't account for over the summer when I was compiling the journal so all in all he does um, love this book I figured it would be a good choice because Garvey is not your quote-unquote typical black male um, and so my, my son fits a lot of the characteristics that Garvey has, even though their personalities are different. He's already commented on that and he is enjoying the book. I'll go ahead and open it for you so you can see, I mean, you see, see, he's been taught to <laughs> number the stanzas as we keep up with, uh, different lines inside of the poem. He doesn't do that every time, but so they're it's quick and easy, you know, pieces. He decides how much he reads in a particular day. I'm not sure where he is. I know he's towards the end, but he is enjoying this book. And so basically the literary skill that we've um, decided upon with this book is just some discussion. So we're discussing it. He's writing down quick little, you know, responses while he reads so that when we discuss it, he has a point of reference. And then we keep up with this sheet that is called Identifying Figurative Language. And we go through in the stanzas and passages that she has and we ID some poetic devices and figurative language for him and so that is what my sixth grader is reading for April 2018 moving along to my third grader gonna switch out books and journals here so it's the same thing he has a journal as well same concept obviously it's just on a third to fourth grade level because I kind of do graduate it to the next grade level towards the end. He's reading L. Ray Jakes is not a chicken. It was a hit when my sixth grader was younger. It is still a hit. He is in love with this book. What he is doing, um, reading two chapters at a time now, which is new. He's been reading one chapter um, at a time since kindergarten, but towards the end of third grade, I start pushing for them to read two chapters at a time, minimum. Of course, they can read more if they want. So this is kind of graduating that, and he is answering in complete sentences, a skill we're working on, and with strong vocabulary, interesting adjectives, things like that. This um, book is, L. Ray Jakes is in third grade, so it's a really good book to read if your child is in third grade or if they're going to be eight or nine throughout um, the school year and you can kind of schedule the book to to read when they have a birthday if you need to for that and then after every two chapters there is a literary I'm sorry there's a reading skill that needs focusing on so let's see where are we at this is ask questions I don't require him to do that but let's see where is 15 16 so we'll pick up with this next week and then story elements will be the literary skill here making connections see just like that so he's working on that um, good book we love it it's a favorite around here okay moving on to our family reads I'll just stick both of these here um, for like kind of like our just funny reading is Sideways Stories from Wayside School. I enjoyed it when I was in elementary school. They are enjoying it probably more than I am. Uh, I'm sorry, more than I did, just being boys. But this is a, you know, a classic. Kids love this book. Um, we are also more culturally. I am reading to them pieces. I believe I'm saying this right. The Cabra Nagast. It is the um, Bible of the Rastafarian faith. And I like some of the... Um, Ethiopian presence that it has too. We just so happen to be studying Jamaica right now and so that's lining up 
we've read a book called The Jacob Ladder that was set in Jamaica earlier this school year that my sixth grader did. And it also had, I think, like an introduction or a preface or something from Gerald Hausman, too. So he tends to show up <laughs> um, a lot when I'm looking up Jamaican information. And of course, the introduction is by Bob Marley's son, Ziggy Marley. This is very interesting. If you are African in descent, check this out. Okay, and then moving on to my reading, I am going to post a picture here. I'm reading um, Dumbing Us Down, just as a professional read or a homeschool read. And then I am also reading kind of more culturally, biblically, I am reading Only One God. And I will post the pictures there because I don't have a physical copy of Only One God. I'm reading it on the Kindle. And I'm not sure where my Dumbing Us Down went right now. I'm done reading it. Very, very good read. If you are a teacher, an educator in any way, home, public, private, what have you, please read this book. That's all that I have for this video. This is what we're reading, April 2018. Please like, share, and subscribe if you enjoy this video. I'll see you next time. Shalom.